if you did not play yesterday's video, go to daytradingthefutures.com. It's how these three charts work together on all markets. And I showed you one specific setup that to look for every single day with these three charts. Let's go over yesterday. I said do the exact same thing with crude oil inventories coming up. So this is how you trade news with these three charts because we have news coming out in about 10 minutes. I want to get off this really quick so we can trade this setup with news. The first chart over here is our trend chart. We know what to do. If you look at all my videos or if you've been a member in the room, you know that this chart, I do not go against this chart. That is my trend chart. It was in a downtrend coming in at 11 o'clock with crude oil inventories because of the holiday. It got pushed to 11 o'clock on a Thursday. And it was in a downtrend going into the news. So that was already set up for us. The trend chart was already in a downtrend. You can see below all three moving averages, all three were crossed down. We're in a downtrend. The second part is this. Here's how you find this setup. What you want to do in range markets or what you want to do before news is you look where your symmetry dots are. My symmetry dots are right here. My symmetry, we're already in a downtrend. I'm looking for a short. I'm not looking for a buy. I'm looking for a short. So my 9 SIM trend chart was already in a downtrend. I'm looking for SIM, SIM to break. Not to break out, but to break. You can tell it held the low here. It bounced. It held the high here. It bounced down. Exactly when the open versus close closed below the SIM dots right here is a time to look for a retracement Fibonacci arrow short. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And let's, I showed you yesterday on yesterday's video, I showed you the exact bar to get short. Let's take a look at this, see if I was right again yesterday on before news, what to look for this setup. So it's right there at 68.55. Let's go ahead and put 68.55 on my short-term chart. We know not to look for any trades on this 3 SIM until you break the SIM dots. There's 68.55. Look how beautiful this is. Look how gorgeous break retest is. What happened? We closed below. We closed below on the 5 SIM Renko below my SIM dots. That's not enough because sometimes you can close below the symmetry dots and go right back above it. It happens all the time. You cannot just trade off sym symmetry dots breaking. You don't want to do that. You want to see a break retest off your three sim Renko with fib arrows. So once it broke, we had an arrow short right here, right to this exact bar. Here's our right there. Look at retested to the exact tick of 68.55. This was our short opportunity. Remember, we do not trade this chart whatsoever on this chart unless the 9 sim is in the trend, on that side of the trend, play yesterday's video and the day before. Then we look for the 5 sim, sim dots to break, close below. Once they close below, you look for a arrow short or negative market delta, even if it doesn't fire arrow. Our short live fill is the low of this bar would have been 58, or 68, 48, 49. So we're just under 50. Look at this short. That was the exact bar setup, and check this out. Thanks for coming to work. Look at that trade setup, all with a small stop. So it went 68, 48 to 49 stop. It went well over 100 ticks. It went 120 ticks plus, 120 tick plus to the exact bar. Your stop was right around 11 ticks on the trade. So that is a $1,200 potential trade with a maximum risk per one contract of $110 to the exact bar, to the exact bar. And I taught you this Wednesday. I taught you this Thursday. And now it's going to, uh, uh, now we're in Friday with the news coming out. Get ready for it today again. You want to let the nine sim get the trend. You see the sim dots break. Look for a Fibonacci short. And you guys should have made a lot of ticks if you paid attention to my setup. I've been hammering this setup all last week, all this week. It tells you to the exact bar where to get in.